Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding users with two purchases within seven days and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Amazon interviews over the past couple of years. Okay, let's jump right in. We are given a table called purchases with three different columns. Purchase ID, user ID, purchase date. Purchase ID is the primary key for this table. This table contains logs of the dates that users purchased from a certain retailer. Okay, we are asked to write a SQL query to report the IDs of the users that made any two purchases at most seven days apart. The final result should be ordered by user ID. Okay, let's go through this example, right? So here we have different users and different purchases on different dates. So now let's see which all users made two purchases within seven days apart, right? So basically it can be one, two, three, four, or at most seven days apart, right? So let's go with, let's say, let's start with user ID two, right? So user ID two, uh, their first purchase was 13th of March, 2022. Their next purchase was on 20th of March 2022, right? So if you subtract these two dates, you are going to get seven days, right? And then when was the next purchase? It was 8th of August, right? Obviously, seven, like it is more than seven days apart, right? But you have two purchases for user ID 2, which are at most seven days apart, right? So uh, two should be in the output. Now let's see for five. So for five, you only have one purchase. So obviously, it won't make any sense to include it. So it will be ignored. For seven, let's say, okay, so 19th of June and 19th of June. Okay, so yeah, so you have two purchases on the same day, right? So since it, it the question says that you need to get the user IDs of users who have made purchases from a certain related at most seven, right? So at most means, so it can start from zero and go up till seven, right? The difference between the dates, right? So seven should also be included in the output. So if you look at it, so two and seven are in the output. So if you see this question is not that very difficult, like if from this purchases table, right? So for each of the users, if you can find out, okay, so this is the purchase date. And then what is the next purchase date af after this, right? And then do that difference. And if it is less than or equal to seven, that you in then you include that. If it is not, then you exclude them, right? So let me start building this query. It will be more clear. So what I'm saying is let's from this table called purchases, right? What I'm saying is let's keep all the columns, right? So purchase ID, user ID, purchase date. Now let's make a fourth column, which will basically tell, okay, so for user ID two, the purchase was on 13th of March 2022. After this, when, what was the date of the next purchase, right? So since we are going to use the lead function, right, which is a window function, you need to write over clause, right? And you need to do this for each users, right? So you need to do partition by user id and then you need to also order by purchase date in ascending order right because then only like this was the first date then this was the second date third date etc right so order by purchase date and from which column you want the uh, date from obviously the purchase date right so you write lead so the next value from the purchase date okay and let's uh, alias this as next purchase date. Okay, so this is not total complete, right? So if I run this, this is going to be a wrong answer, but let's see if we are getting what we are trying to, you know, uh, get. Okay, so we have purchase ID, user ID, purchase date, since we did select star. So obviously you have all these three columns and then the column that we created next purchase date, right? So for four to 13th of March, 2022, and then for user ID two, when was the next purchase? on 20th of March, 2022, right? So you, if you see 20th of March, 2022, right? Now for 6 two, right? So for 6 two, right? So 20th of March, 2022, when was the next purchase? 8th of June, 2022. So yeah, 8th of June, 2022. So similarly for everything, right? 
okay now once we have this then what do we need to do if we just you know store this in a common table expression and do the date difference between the purchase date and the next purchase date and if that comes out to be less than or equal to seven right because the question says it should be at most seven right the purchases should be at most seven days apart then you keep that else yeah you ignore that ignore those rows right so and like how is it going to take care of cases where the user has only purchased once because the next purchase date of this is going to be null right so when you do the difference the difference is going to be null right so it, it is automatically going to be excluded right so with common table expression as so we'll just you know store this as a common table expression and then from this common table expression i am only going to keep those rows where the difference in dates is at most seven right so less than equal to seven so we use the function date diff and then next purchase date minus the purchase date right and if this comes out to be less than equal to seven so obviously it means there are two purchases at most seven days apart right so in those cases return user id right and also the question says that the final result should be ordered by user id okay order by user id okay there is still one thing missing in this right okay can you think of that test case okay here we had okay so here we had you know user id 2 th first or uh, first purchase on 13th of march 2022 second on 20th of march 2022 third on 8th of june 2022 right so here we found out okay so for this next purchase date is 20th of march for this the next purchase date is 8th of june and for this the next purchase is null right when we did the difference so yeah this row is going to be present right this row is not going to be present because when you subtract 8th of june or when you subtract 20th of march from 8th of june it is obviously not going to be you know less than or equal to seven days right so that is excluded and obviously null minus this is again excluded so two is present now suppose uh you know if you use this query right if you use this query suppose instead of it it being 8th of june 2022 let's say you know uh, the next purchase was on 23rd of march 2022 right so 13th of march and uh, difference between 13th of march 2022 and 20th of march 2022 is 7 then the difference between 20th of march 2022 and 23rd of march 2022 is going to be 3 right so both of those rows are going to be there right so from the ct when i say where date diff is equal to like when red date diff of next purchase date and purchase date is less than or equal to 7 both of those rows are going to be present right now when you return the user id 2 is going to return twice right and when you order by user id the, it is going to be 2 2 and then 7 right so obviously in the output you don't want that duplication right so that is why you need to return distinct user id right so you see like this is the test case that you were missing if you just write user id it like let me just show you also if i just write user id and run this right so this is accepted right and output is accepted because in this particular case this query works but we have not generalized our square so if i submit this it's the same thing it is going to be a wrong answer right because there is a repetition you see 89 89 there is a repetition that is happening which we don't want so instead of that what we do is let's write distinct user id right and now let me just run this again accepted this is not a problem but when i submit it now the code is generalized so it is going to be accepted so you see there is not going to be any repetition so this is how we do it let me know if this video was useful uh, all we did was in this question was firstly to find out okay what are the diff next purchase date dates for each of these users uh, and the purchase id right we found out the next purchase date then we calculated that difference 
and made sure that it is less than equal to 7 because that is what the question says and if it is less than equal to 7 you included those rows if not you excluded them and then you return the distinct user IDs and then ordered by user ID. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.